Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for checking out this video, my sports kid Matria. I'm going to be talking about the 2020 NBA Paris game. The NBA game that's taking place here in a couple hours. Um, but I made a post yesterday on my Patreon, um, viewable for the public. And I made this post here. What I noticed is this game being played today, January 24th, and so I wrote... The NBA Paris game takes place on January 24th, written 1 slash 2 4, like the number 124. Well, if we use the four base ciphers, uh, we see that NBA Paris game sums to 52. And I'll put pop that in right here. 52. NBA Paris game. I bring this up because of the number 52 sums to 124. Like 124, January 24th, 1 slash 24. NBA Paris game being played on 1 slash 24. NBA Paris game 52. 52 equals 124. NBA Paris game being played on January 24th. Now, this game, you know, for the average person who doesn't know about Gamichia, you know, they're going to pick the Bucks to win this game. I mean, they're 14 point favorites. Bucks are going to win. You do not need Gematria to tell you this <laughs> at all. But um, what I'm going to show you is just some fascinating connections that go along with this game. Of course, the Bucks are going to win. No biggie. But what I'm more fascinated about on this particular matchup is the numbers that are involved, particularly with the, the coach of the Hornets. I mean, his milestone for his career is based off of this game in Paris and what I mean by that is you're looking at the screen here on the left side is what I call my daily numbers my date numerology Gregorian calendar both sides of the Hebrew calendar and then on the left side is what I call my game numbers so they're numbers pertaining to the particular game that I'm looking at the way it's structured is the away team is on top which is the Bucks and the middle is the head-to-head -head record and the bottom is the home team, which is the Hornets. Technically, both these teams are away teams since this game, game is being played in Paris. But I'm still going to use the same layout as what I see on ESPN. Bucks on top, Hornets on bottom. But um, And then up top here is where the location of the game. And I only did this for this particular game just because it's played in Paris, France. So I uh, thought that might have been a little important. So to start off really quick, just to run through this, uh, the reason why I'm making this pick for the Bucks and, and any normal fan of the NBA who has no clue about uh, Gamechia, whatever, they're going to pick the Bucks as well. You don't need Gamechia to pick the Bucks to win this game by any means. Uh, but the numbers are still fascinating. And what I mean by that is the Bucks and the Hornets, it's their 121st all-time head-to-head matchup between uh, each other and 121 has a square root of an 11 okay so in the 121st all-time game head-to-head -head between these two teams the Hornets with the loss would pick up their 31st loss of the season why does that connect to 121 well 31 is the 11th prime number so in the 121st all-time head-to-head game, which has a square root of an 11, Hornets are going to pick up their 31st loss of the season, 31, the 11th prime number. Hornets would get their 8th loss in a row for the season, as Bucks get their 8th win in a row for the season. And if we pop in the number 8, it comes up to 31, the 11th prime. So that tells you right there, I think Bucks are winning. Um, and even if you are a normal NBA fan and you don't know about Gamechia and you're having a hard time deciding this game, that right there should tell you uh, Bucks are going to win, other than just being a 14-point favorite. But this game is being played in Paris. Up top here, I wrote Paris and the Gamechia and the four base ciphers for Paris. Paris sums to 63. And the Bucks are looking for their 63rd all-time head-to-head win against the Hornets in their 121st all-time game. And they can get it in Paris, 
which seems very fitting. And what's really fascinating about the coach for the Hornets is all his regular season games had to have been leading up to this point. It just makes, unless he would just happen to hit these numbers when this game was scheduled. But he, he's currently playing his 158th regular, or coaching his 158th regular season game. And with the loss, he'll get his 94th regular season loss. Well, this game in Paris is being played at a core hotels arena. And in two of the four base ciphers, a core hotels arena sums to 158 as well as 94. So in a course hotels arena, which sums to 158 and 94, the Hornets coach is going to be coaching his 158th regular season game where he'll pick up his 94th loss. That's pretty fascinating to me because if you know, you're having a hard time believing that sports could be scripted to this level, this kind of gives a clue. I mean, his whole career as a coach would be leading up to this in a sense, right? Like he would have to have had 64 wins and 93 losses to hit exactly 158 and 94 as they play in Paris at a core hotels arena, 158-94. On top of that, for the Bucks and Hornets, I mean, they faced each other 121 times the entire NBA um, franchise's existence. And one day they're going to be playing in Paris. Paris 63, 63rd all-time head-to-head win, 158-94, a Coors Hotel Arena, 158-94. I mean, those two connections, it's fascinating. It's really mind-boggling. Like, how do they do this? How do they, how do they line this up so perfect? Like, this coach... His entire coaching career was leading up to this point, a, a core hotels arena, 158.94. On top of that, I'm sure this leads to something else later on in his career as far as game coached and win-loss record. And then for the Bucks and Hornets franchise, like their head-to-head franchise between these two were leading up to Paris, Paris 63, 63rd win. Was that always in the cards for it to happen? I mean, it's... It's wild. It's wild, wild stuff. It's really hard to believe just because I'm a human being, and I know these are other human beings, and we're inherently flawed. We're inherently flawed creatures, and we're far from perfect, but yet look how perfect this is, right? I don't know, but it's pretty cool. So thanks for checking out this video. This is how I set up my NBA games, particularly the Paris game. Hopefully this helps you learn a little bit. Um, check you out next time. Bye.